Hey guys, welcome back to Rossoneri TV. I'm Ju and I'm here for the match preview of Fiorentina against Milan, our opening Serie A fixture of the new season. And it's finally back after a very long summer. A summer full of changes, some positive, some negative. But this is the moment, this is where it's going to count, where the talking will be done on the pitch. Of course, as we start the new season, we never want to fall back right away on the first match. And we will be playing a pretty tough Fiorentina side that ended 4th place last year, but they encountered some changes of their own. Of course, their coach, Montella, got sacked surprisingly at the end of last season. And the new man is in charge. He goes in by the name of Paolo Souza. And uh, even though they weren't very loud in the transfer market, at least up to now, because we still have 10 days going on here until the end of the transfer market, they did make a few moves, such as replacing Stefan Savic with Astori, which is not the best of moves, in my opinion, for the defense. However, they also brought in Mario Suarez from Atletico Madrid and Nikola Kalinic, uh, while Mario Gomez has left on loan to Besiktas. Now, in my opinion, the players to watch in this season for Fiorentina are youngsters. Bernardeschi, who scored two goals in preseason against Barcelona, and of course, the return of the awaited man, Giuseppe Rossi. And speaking about preseason, this is where Fiorentina did very well in the summer. They re achieved some very positive results against some top sides like Chelsea and Barcelona, and definitely giving a message of their own to the Serie A, maybe even saying that we could put, compete for the top spots once again. In my opinion, I don't think Fiorentina will be repeating a 4th place finish. However, they will have a solid side to make the Europa League altogether. But uh, Mijalovic coached Fiorentina as well. Now, he did so back in 2010-2011. And obviously, he has some memories of his time back at Florence. Hopefully, he'll have some things, some tricks and uh, drills really along the lines that could defeat this Fiorentina uh, team altogether on Sunday. Now, Mialovic coming in for Milan, of course, a coach full of charisma, a nice character, a strong character actually altogether, bringing in his determination, and that is exactly what he's going to want back from his team in this season. He wants to bring back the determination, that desire to win, because he mentioned so many times, winning is the only thing that counts. It's not the most important thing. It's the only thing that counts. And I think that sentence really hit me. And I do hope that all the players at Milan will consider that when they play for the shirt. Now, uh, going back to uh, this matchup, of course, it's going to be tough altogether, as I mentioned, against Fiorentina. At the Artemio Franchi, where the crowd is going to be super loud. They were already very loud in the preseason matches, so I just can't imagine how loud it's going to be at the Franchi uh, when the season actually starts here against Milan. And uh, we'll try and look a bit at the formations now, starting off with the Milan one, because once again, uh, Mijalovic will be going with a 4-3-1-2. Uh, of course, the formation that you will be using in this season. And it's going to be a lineup very similar to the one that we saw against Perugia, where we won 2-0 uh, earlier this week in the Coppa Italia. So let's start off with Diego Lopez and Net. The back four will be made of De Chilio on the right, Eli and Romagnoli once again getting the start in the middle, and Antonelli on the left. As for the midfield, De Jong will be starting from the middle with Bertolacci on the right, Bonaventura on the left, on the playing as the Tequatista and Carlos Baca and Luis Adriano playing up front. Now this formation did very well against Perugia, completely dominated the match, but we have to understand that it was against Perugia, a team that obviously doesn't have the strengths of Fiorentina and overall it's a weak side, we can't really compare them to the Viola. So I saw some very positive things there and I'm hoping to see the same against Fiorentina with these players. Uh, obviously Carlos Bach and Luis Adriano, I'm very curious to see the way that they will be starting this Serie A season with their partnership. And we'll see if the midfield could be good enough, at least for the moment before the transfer window closes, to see if they could provide enough support and quality support, most importantly, for the two forwards up front. I'm pretty confident with this formation. I think we could do and achieve a pretty good result at the Artemio Franchi. Of course, Fiorentina being the favorites because they're playing at home. 
but I think we could achieve a result. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 win for Milan. Now, let me know, of course, your score predictions in the comments section below. And also, if you would like to see something different with the formation, let me know as well. But that is what the probable starting 11 will be against Fiorentina. Uh, of course, once again, Milan will have to try and get this match to a win because we want to start obviously on top of the table. We don't want to start getting ties. We don't want to start getting losses right away. We want to start the season in the best positive way as possible. Let me know if you guys think the same. Do you think Milan as a team right now to beat Fiorentina? Do you think we could achieve a result at the Artemio Franchi? Let us know in the comments section below. And on that note, I'll be seeing you tomorrow for the match review of Fiorentina Milan along with many more videos. So make sure to subscribe to Rosanary TV to stay updated with everything AC Milan on a daily basis. This has been Gio signing off from Rosanary TV and as always, Forza Milan. He also said that if Milan paid 20 million euros for Bertolacci, then they could easily pay 25 million for uh, Soriano.